That's interesting right there. I really don't know what's going on right there. <laughs> you can turn so we can go back down, throw the rest of these jugs out. It looks like they're going toward the port. He's helping him with the excavator there. Hmm. Like he's trying to wash the mud off of it and basically paddle it at the same time. Hmm. I ain't sure what he's doing, man. Hmm. Got a cat bucket on it. I believe that's a rental machine is what that is right there. Hmm. 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 He's trying to... He's got a heck of a boat paddle there. I mean, Joe, I put out what, two, three jumps on here? Two of them, I think. Three of them, I think. I think two of them. <laughs> Man, he's pushing some water, too, I mean, because it's rocking this boat all the way over here. I see all three of them down there there now. So the dude on the little push boat back here, he's up there with the dude on the excavator. Let's see, he's going to have to catch it. I wonder if it's going to shove at, or just let it idle right there. See what happens here. Huh? All right, he hit the ground right there. You can see it pushing against that, pushing against the back of that excavator there. Let's see. Is he going to get it stopped? Yeah, he got it. Now you got to tie it off now.
It's a 323. He's tying it all, what he's doing is he got a root. He's gonna get soaked, look at him. <laughs> Show y'all a new purchase that uh, me and Jill did right here. Been wanting one of these for a good while to go here at uh at our residence and down here in my shop. This is a uh Cool air, uh, ice maker made by uh, Manawalk. We have a Manawalk up there at our big shop up there where our uh, office is. Our first ice maker we ever had was a, uh, we bought a used Scotsman. Used it for a long time, moved it uh, one time from our house to uh, to the shop up there where headquarters is now. And then uh, it finally bit the dust and we bought a used Manawalk which we currently still use now it's um uh, it's pretty old don't look like much but that dude will still make ice real good and all that and uh it's got a 600 pound bend on it it holds a bunch of ice but this one right here is the uh and i forget what the model number is on this dude here uh, this is a 150a is what this one is this one holds right at 100 pounds of ice, like 98 pounds of ice. It'll make uh, 150, 160 pounds a day, something like that, or maybe 168. I can't remember exactly what it is. But this unit right here runs about, uh, uh, they're about 2,000 is what they run. The uh, next smaller size is about 1,500. And you basically get double the ice capacity with uh, by spending a little bit more money. So that's what I opted to do. This one has the, uh, it makes the square chunks like these. And this is going to be very handy. It just don't, I wish I could have got, got it on camera or when it was done. I wasn't quite quick enough to get it going here. So I hooked it up, uh, I had it shipped in. I bought it from a, local guy here and he had it shipped in to me the very first one that came in on uh wednesday i believe it was or maybe in tuesday when it came in it had a forklift fork had went slap through it the uh, freight company had had ruined it it's fixing the key back up since i moved the ice off of it and so they got me another one ordered me another one and got it to me the very next day i mean so when I ordered it, I had them get me a, uh, a filter for it too. So I installed that. What I did, I got some spigots over here. I didn't film doing none of this right here. Man, it was hotter than the haze of heck when I was doing this the other day. So I, I didn't film any of it. And I was kind of feeling my way through it. But I cut my, I have half inch copper pipe over here. It comes up, it goes through the wall for the outside water spigot. I sliced it in half with a tubing cutter dropped in a half inch PEX T in it. Come up, adapted it down to three eighths line, three eighths line in the filter base right there. And then three eighths line into the back of the ice machine. You can see the drain right there. That's a half inch PEX. Comes out, there's a, uh, comes out on the back, got a 90 on it, and then got a T on it, because you're supposed to put a VIN on it, so we got the VIN on it. Got it all rolling here, uh, did it all myself. Uh, had some help, had some friends here on the weekend. They helped me uh, kind of move around here once I got it going, but uh, it's gonna be a cool addition to the uh, Cotton Top 3 property. I'm gonna take, this is a freezer right here. I'm gonna take and get order me some bags off of uh, Amazon, ice bags. 
and I'm gonna start bagging this ice. I'm gonna bag up a bunch, stick it in the freezer right there where I got room for. And that way, if I have a show enough big run on ice or something like that, I can just grab bags and or what have you and do that. So, uh, just want to show that. I, I was so impressed with it. It started making ice. It makes it quick, too. I went ahead and put one of my stickers on and got that done. The uh, air filter for it is right here. You slide that out. Real simple. But take it out the side, clean it, stick it back in. So, yeah. Pretty cool. It's going to save me an incredible amount of time going to the shop get nice this is going to be a huge bonus for me right here so we're going to just take the take the drone up to finish this video off with right here about 250 feet watch the sun kind of set going down i'm not sure how this will turn up on the video here but uh Maximum let me flight altitude drop it down just a little bit you know, I think uh, all of us could do some good to uh, get outside and kind of take in stuff like this right here instead of sitting there on Facebook and all the social media platforms that there are. Kind of get away from get away from some of that stuff. You know what I mean? I mean, you think about it, Mother Nature and the world around us, that was the original Facebook, the original social media platform, you know? <laughs> if you think about it like that, there's the racetrack right there below me. That is uh, Columbus Speedway right there. You can see it, what it looks like. It's a... Uh, Dirt track, also known as the baddest bull ring in the south. They have not run a race there this year. Let's go back up here and check all this out. I love to fly in the evenings, you know, on, a, on an airplane and, you know, flying somewhere or something and watching the, watching the sun go down. Or coming up, either one, when you're up above the clouds and stuff like that. That's always uh, always been pretty cool. Man, I just love to take all this stuff in. The wind is pretty bad this afternoon, kind of. That tropical storm coming up from the, from the Gulf of Pear. We'll probably be getting rain by tomorrow afternoon. It should be Monday afternoon, maybe. Let's see. My neighbor's dirt company right there on the left of the screen. Hope y'all enjoy watching. Get outside. Get off the computer and the phone and all that stuff a little bit more. I think it'll benefit everybody a little bit. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.